Hey everybody, it's me. I'm the Joker, y'all. I'm the Joker, y'all. I'm your friend, the Joker. I'm his Joker, y'all. Batman is not my friend. I don't like Batman, no. I'm the Joker, y'all. I'm your best friend. I'm your friend. I'm just kidding. What is going on, guys? It's not the Joker, y'all. It is me. I'm the Joker, y'all. I'm your best friend. I'm the Joker. No, I am not the Joker, y'all. It is me, uh, actual Dracula. Uh, and uh, welcome to my video. Uh, it has been a while since I've sat down and made a video like this. Uh, but uh, I'm looking forward to getting right back into the saddle. I have been doing... Um, you know, my live streams, uh, Casual Dracula, every week. Uh, so thank you to anyone who has been uh, tuning in and watching that. Uh, it is still uh, a complete disaster. Uh, you know, it's a hot mess, uh, a rudderless ship that refuses to sink. Uh, but, you know, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Uh, so I will uh, continue to chug along uh with it had some great guests played some games uh yeah it's a lot of fun it's uh, it's casual dracula right it's not formal dracula it's not uh, a get on and uh say uh you know well the uh gpa of fantastic four 271 is such and such uh no it's more like i uh, come on and um uh have a very kind of loose idea of what i want to do and I rely on my guests to uh, make it a good show. And luckily, I've been fortunate enough to have so many amazing guests uh, who've done that. Um, yes, yeah, so thank you uh, to anyone who's been a part of the show, anyone who's watching. Uh, I look forward to continuing with that. Uh, I've got a pretty special episode coming up this week I'm looking forward to. Anyhow... That's not why we're here today. Today we're here to make some edited content. And I left a pause there uh, to see if I put in anything in after. I decided to do a video today uh, like this because I had a little bit of time and I have something uh, that I think is absolutely worthy uh, of that. I've got an unboxing uh, and uh, a couple other books I'll show off. But before we get into that, uh, I do have to give a shout out to my channel sponsors. Uh, first up, we've got uh, Mr. C first up, we've got Vincent Vance Carnes Horse Paste, the only horse medicine made with 100, still to this day, made with 100% horse muscle. It is uh, horse. This is a medicinal salve made from horse, and it is a cure for what ails ya, whatever ails ya. It'll cure horse worms, it'll cure COVID-19. I have a disclaimer here. Mr. Kidney's horse paste is not a recognized vaccine uh, for the COVID-19 uh, coronavirus, um, Wuhan virus, uh, super virus. Uh, you will, uh, it will not, it is not recognized as a vaccine as such yet, still pending approval. Uh, there is uh, several countries uh, in Eastern Europe uh, that are currently um, using this as a vaccine. 
uh, but I don't believe you're allowed to travel outside of those countries if you've been using the, the paste. Um, which the, I think what I like about this is you don't actually have to inject it uh, into you. You can just sort of put it on. Uh, I've been using it uh, and I'm not sick. So that's all I'm saying. Um, that's Mr. Kidney's uh, Victor Von Kidney's horse paste made with horse muscle uh not only will it help you with uh, all kinds of ailments and diseases uh it's a fun can be used as a fungal cream as well a fungal remedy it uh, will kill uh 99 of all mushrooms if you have mushrooms that are growing uh, you can put some paste on there and the mushrooms will die instantly um so yeah, it kills fungus, uh, kills on most bacterias, kills most viruses. Uh, like I said, horse worms, if you have to deal with that, uh, you can use this uh, for your worms, different kinds of worms as well. Uh, and as I said, the COVID-19 uh, Wuhan super virus, um, it's still, you know, uh, I suppose, uh, it, uh, it's still um, uh, still in the testing phases uh, to be accepted as a vaccine. As I said, some countries, I think uh, probably um, Turkmenistan, um, certain parts of Serbia, it's being used there, um, Hungary as well. Um, so yeah, a, a vaccine. Uh, vaccinate get yourself vaxed get yourself vaxed up with mr kidney's horse paste 100 percent horse muscle paste and uh and we've got a new sponsor as well the salami mommy meat cradle don't uh and they have a slogan which is mommy uh Keep that sausage off the table. Suspend that meat in a mommy meat cradle. And uh, so uh, salami mommy meat cradle. Uh, it appears to be, I guess, uh, a new way to present uh, salamis and uh, other dried cured meats to your guests. Um, and if you don't want it rolling around, uh, you know, on the table or the counter, you just kind of uh, hang it in this. Uh, it al it's almost like a hammock, like a sausage hammock uh, or banana hammock, if you will. I think you could probably put a banana in there or anything sort of sausage shaped. Uh, and um, yeah, that's uh, I don't know what else to tell you. I haven't tried it out myself. Uh, they are uh, shipping me one. Um, uh, they did make a note. It looks uh, some assembly required. Um, it does have wheels on it, so you can actually roll it across the table. Um, I think maybe that's what needs to be assembled. I'm not entirely sure. Anyhow, uh, thank you. Uh, anyhow, thank you to my sponsors, uh, Mr. Kidney. Again, killing it with the horse medicine and um, Salami Mommy Meat Cradle. Uh, Look forward to uh, working with you and trying out the salami, uh, the salami hammock, uh, uh, or banana hammock. I, I will probably try it with some bananas as well. So uh, that being said, let's get right into it. All right. So as I've said, we've got a box here to unbox. But before I get into that, I want to show off one thing. Uh, and got to give a shout out to my guy, Comic Ozzy, who hit me up on Instagram last week. He said, yo, Drac, heads up. Uh, if you head over to The Beguiling, which is one of my favorite shops here in Toronto, uh, which he frequents as well, said, yo, they've got uh, some books there that they just put out signed by Jeff Lemire. I uh, says, said, uh, yeah, thanks for the heads up. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to make it there. Uh, and I was hoping that if I went the next day, they might, you know, have a, a copy or two left. Um, 
And so I did go the next day and uh, lo and behold, uh, yeah, they still had some. So uh, he had signed some copies of Primordial Number 1. Uh, this is the A cover. Highly, highly recommend this. This is a great read. Uh, of course, written by Jeff Lemire, art by Andrea Sorrentino, uh, the team behind Gideon Falls, uh, Joker Killer Smile. This is a definite contender for uh, my favorite book of the year. Uh, definitely, if you are a fan of Gideon Falls, you've got to read this. It's uh, got uh, definitely some similar vibes to that. I can't wait to see uh, what they do with the with the rest of this first issue is fantastic. Right, so Primordial number one. Uh, this is the cover A, signed by Jeff Lemire. And, uh, you know, I was kind of worried they wouldn't have any left. Uh, but I was lucky because not only did they have this, but uh, they had a few more. So I got two copies of cover A and then... Uh, Got one of these. I don't remember the name of the artist, uh, but y'all are smart uh, guys and gals. I'm sure you can look it up and, and find that out. Uh, or uh, maybe I'll even put it on the screen uh, with my uh, incredible editing abilities. So got one of these. Uh, one of these ones as well. I love this cover. <clears throat> and one of these. Uh, now this copy right here, uh, I will be sending off to uh, my boy Lee from Whack Comics. Uh, he is uh, the biggest Jeff Lemire fan in the world. Uh, so that's yours, buddy. Uh, and I don't need all these copies, so I'm definitely keeping one of these for myself. I love the A cover, I think. Uh, I love this one as well. I don't know. I'll probably keep two. So that means I got two more here uh, that I will probably use for giveaways. Uh, so keep uh, watching my live streams because uh, I'll probably uh, just randomly throw out one or two of those uh, as giveaways. Um, yes, uh, either way, pick that book up. It's fantastic. Now, getting into the box here, what is inside, I'm very excited about uh, because uh, I've got two books in here, I believe, and one of them is uh, a book that I put at kind of the top of my wish list for books I wanted this year. It's a personal grail, uh, and uh, yeah, so I can't wait to see what this is. And what this is, is uh, books I got at an auction. It was an auction from a few weeks ago, um, the Canadian Variant and Comic Book Champ did a dual live auction uh, on Instagram. And uh, they were on there selling books for a few hours. Uh, awesome. I have bought uh, this. This was from Canadian Variant, uh, who I hadn't got books from before. But uh, I had bought books from Comic Book Champ in the past. Uh, great guy. He has an amazing collection. Uh, so I knew if the two of them teaming up uh, together that um, I had absolutely nothing to worry about. Uh, that um, and, and Canadian Variant had also uh, great books all night at that auction. Uh, there were so many things I saw that I wanted, but I knew this one particular book was going to be on the auction. So that's really the one I was waiting for. So I didn't really bid on on anything else, only one other book, uh, which I think was a buy it now. So the big one's a slab. Let's open up the raw book here first. This one was not a book uh, I had planned on getting. I actually already own a copy of this, um, but the price was was really good, so I picked up another copy. And it is somewhat related to the other book. So it kind of made sense to have uh, one of its cousins, I suppose, with it. Oh, okay. So it looks like he has thrown in something else. Unless I bought this. I don't remember buying this, but this is very cool. 
Uh, this is the uh, one of the uh, reprints of Invincible number one with the gold foil. That is awesome. Uh, wow, so thank you, Canadian variant. Um, I think you just threw it in there because I honestly don't remember <laughs> bidding on that or anything. Uh, yeah, thank you, definitely. So here's the here's the one other book I did. This was a buy it now. Uh, if you remember way back, uh, I did a round of mystery boxes, which is something I'll get to again shortly. Um, I had two of these going into my mystery boxes, and I still had uh, one copy I kept for myself, uh, and that is the Star Wars um, John Tyler Christopher uh, negative space variant of Luke Skywalker. I absolutely love this cover, and uh, I think it was like 20 bucks or something, buy it now, so it's like, yeah, the price is, is right, absolutely, and I wouldn't mind having uh, another... Uh, copy of this um, and uh, and I do I do plan on submitting one to get slab because I just I'm a huge fan of, of John Tyler Christopher and these negative space variants uh, I know maybe some people are not too crazy about this one but I absolutely love it I love the orange this is one of my favorite covers and uh, so yeah I, I, I couldn't pass this up getting another copy because the, the price was fantastic and uh, yeah absolutely high grade Perfect. All right, so the big book, Slab. Now, this is a book that I had put uh, on my want list at the beginning of this year that I didn't actually expect to get, uh, just being realistic. Uh, and um, when I saw that Canadian Variant had put this posted this on Instagram, that this was going to be in his auction, uh, I thought, you know what, uh, I'm going to definitely check out the auction either way. Like I said, I bought, I've, I've checked out Champs auctions before. They're always great. Um, I thought, you know, the dual auction with, the, with them, that there was going to be some awesome books there regardless, and, and there was. But this is the one that I, I really wanted. Uh, and I assumed that I was going to get outbid on this thing. Um, I had kind of set a price for myself that I didn't want to go over. Uh, and I didn't really have to go over it by much. I think I had to go up one more, one more bid, and then uh, everyone else backed out. So I was surprised to get this for what I did. Uh, I thought it was a steal. Um, and um, but I don't feel bad because Canadian Variant told me that he'd won this book in a raffle. So it wasn't like you know he was really losing money or anything on this. So I'm sure you're all waiting with bated breath uh, to see what the book is exactly, and here it is. Uh, that is Wolverine number one, the John Tyler Christopher Negative Space Variant Exclusive from C2E2 um, 2020, uh, aka the banana wolverine in a cgc 9.8 ladies and gentlemen this thing is an absolute beauty this is a banger if there ever was one um not uh not um, this is <clears throat> um so this to me uh I, I as i said i call this a personal grail because this is not a key book in any sense. This is not like a first appearance uh, of anyone. Um, you know, as you can see, it just says Christopher variant cover. That's all this is. This is, you know, uh, by and large, a cover by, but a very important one to me because when I first got back into collecting, uh, I was not really aware of just uh, the crazy amount of variants that were coming out. Uh, and one of the first ones I, that really caught my eye was this. Uh, the moment I saw this cover, uh, I was like, I've got to have that book. Uh, I then went and looked it up and saw what it was going for on eBay. And I was like, oh, I'm not going to have that book <laughs> anytime soon. Um, so, uh, it, you know, it's Wolverine, one of my absolute favorite 
uh, characters of all time and and John Tyler Christopher these negative space variants uh, I've, I love them all but this is of course still my favorite um, and now I have it in a gorgeous 9.8 uh, so yeah there it is uh, I am so so excited to have this uh, in my collection uh, you know, I'm prim primarily a raw dog so far. I only have a few slabs, but uh, this one is absolutely now uh, the gem of my slab collection uh, so far. Um, yeah, this this is uh, this is just uh, what can I say? Uh, it's a beauty. Uh, so thank you again to uh, Canadian Variant for this. Um, you. It, you may be very happy, uh, happy Dracula. Uh, this is now in a, in a new uh, loving home. Uh, also, thank you to Comic Book Champ. Uh, you know, I, I would love to see the, you guys team up for more auctions together because that was an absolute, aside from this, absolute killer auction, guys. I'm going to uh, put their, their links down below. Follow, make sure you follow uh, uh, Comic Book Champ and Canadian Variant both. Uh, great guys, uh, and they and they do. Um, comic book champ will often put uh, uh, you know books for sale on IG, and uh, hopefully we'll see more auctions from them together soon. So um, yeah, this is uh, and of course these were limited to three thousand. This is number two thousand uh, two hundred ninety nine. Uh, very cool. Um, yeah, there it is. The Banana Wolverine. All right, so there we have it, guys. Uh, that was um, that was what I grabbed at the Canadian Variants Auction. Um, and uh, so there we have it, guys. So I grabbed from the auction uh, from Canadian Variant. Uh, also, again, shout out to Comic Book Champ. Uh, got the uh, and and thank you again for this uh, Invincible Number One. Uh, which I believe he just threw in there as an AOK -okay, because I honestly don't remember <laughs> bidding on that or buying that. So uh, thank you very much. I did buy this, which of course uh, looks great next to the Banana Wolverine, ladies and gentlemen. Fuck yeah, bud. Check it out, bud. Banana Wolverine and a 9-8 absolute beauty. That, this thing is gorgeous. Um, this is, uh, you know, uh, this is absolutely a personal grail for me. Uh, as I said, the moment I saw this book, this uh, this was one I I had I knew I'd have to have. So excited to have this in my collection. Um, cover by, sure, you want to call it that. Uh, but I am absolutely an unabashed, unashamed buyer of beautiful covers. Uh, you know, collect how collect how you want, guys. All right. Uh, one other thing I wanted to mention uh, because I did bring up mystery boxes, uh, but some of you guys are going, uh, "Yo, Drake, what's the deal? Like uh, six months ago, you said you was gonna be doing some more mystery boxes for us uh, uh, over here." And I hope you guys like my impression of my buddy Tommy over here. Uh, I wouldn't do it in front of him, but. Um, you know, I think it's pretty funny. Anyhow, mystery boxes, yes. Uh, the actual Dracula Setting Sun mystery box. Do I have an update for you? Absolutely not. Uh, no, I have uh, been slowly but surely uh, putting them together s somewhat. Um, guys, there's going to be a, a lot of books here. I've got uh, around 300 books that I'm working with, and I, I want to make sure everyone... Um, is something uh, that somebody that <clears throat> I want to make sure that uh, you know every book kind of uh, deserves to be in that mystery box uh, I you know like I said I don't like to throw garbage in there or anything like that uh, I'm putting mystery boxes together that I myself uh, I'm proud to put my name on, so I don't want to rush anything. Uh, this summer has been much been much busier than I was expecting to be. Um, so, 
uh, I did not get to put those together. I, I do, I'm also still toying with the idea of, <clears throat> of, of, of what I'm doing for the sort of grand prize. Um, I, I think I'm still going to be doing one box that's kind of full of big books, although I'm, uh, I may split that up into two or three boxes even. Uh, and um, thinking about what else I can do as an incentive to get people to, to buy these boxes on their own as they are at the moment. I still think they're great boxes, but uh, because uh, everyone in this community has been, um, you know, so amazing and supportive of me that uh, I want to uh, make sure that these boxes um, have uh, something for everyone and that uh, everyone's going to, I, I want to make sure that these boxes, you know, that people get their money's worth. First of all, I definitely have um, the value in, in the boxes, um, but I don't want to just give you the value of the box, right? I want to make sure that there's something in there <clears throat> that makes it worth buying for me, you know, as opposed to just going to your comic book shop and buying these books. Uh, this is going to be something that has... Uh, I think a personal touch to it and um, yeah so when when uh, all right so uh, in terms of when I'm hoping to have these together I'm uh, again not going to put a date on it uh, I do have uh, some time off this month so hopefully I'll be able to um, kind of uh, get some progress on those things. I definitely want to have them out uh, before this year is over. Uh, if I can do them for November, great. Uh, but either way, uh, that's what's happening with those. Um, and just stay tuned. Uh, all right, so thank you guys to uh, everyone who's watching this. Uh, everyone who's watching Casual Dracula. Uh, I'm just chopping it up, having a good time. I love that. Uh, I do have some more, uh, uh, have a little bit of time off this month, so uh, 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 hopefully get some more edited content put together for you guys. Um, yeah, that's about it. And thank you so much to Canadian Variant uh, for this uh, incredible book here. Uh, yeah, so excited to have this. All right, guys, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.